Creative Katie. Welcome to my channel and my version of Index Card of Day 2019 Create Daily Series. Today the prompt is Sapphire. And the techniques that I'm going to feature are create color watercolor embellishments and use modeling paste with a stencil. So on watercolor paper, I have traced out these hearts and then I dug out my I must have, but I haven't used mermaid markers. And I'm using a dark blue, light blue, a teal, and yellow. And what I'm trying to create here, very abstractly, is the world. So I'm trying to give the illusion of the continents and the oceans, just the colors that you would see on a globe. And I'm doing three of these because I'm at the end I'm going to try, I'm going to pick the best one. And the other two will simply go into my stash and I can use them for other purpose. Now I used watercolor paper because I wanted that the watercolor look. But you could do this just on regular mixed media paper. You could also use whatever paints or color medium you wish to have. You can use uh, Neocolor 2s or ink tents, blocks or pencils. You can even get this effect using acrylic paints. Now the reason I want the earth, the globe, to look be in a heart shape is because the quote that I've picked for this says, in a world where you can be anything be kind. And this is one of the quotes from my BU quote journal theme that I also have running at the same time. So this kind of all went together. Sometimes I start with the background. This time I started with the quote and the focal image. And then I'm going to go to the background. And when I got the prompt of sapphire it was just perfect because that deep dark blue of the sapphire works really well with the colors in these heart-shaped globes so on the gel print that i don't like that's on my page from my happy planner i'm mixing dioxazine purple and phthalo green and they give you a navy or a sapphire blue color so this gel print, I really did not like. I don't know, something about it just didn't seem to, to flow. And so I am mixing dioxazine purple and phthalo green, and that makes an absolutely great navy. And I'm just applying those on right on top of this gel print with a makeup sponge. And I'm not looking for perfect coverage because some of the gold from underneath and some of the pattern from underneath still shows. And it's going to add interest to my page in a more subtle way than as it was purple. So if you make some backgrounds and you end up not being able to use them, you can always paint over them and use the colors that you want. So this got cut out. I'm using champagne gold modeling paste from the Crafters Workshop and this cake and cookie stencil that's called Fan Flower. Uh, they do have Fan Flower in the regular size stencils as well. And I just applied that with a palette knife. And I'm just cleaning up the little bit of mess. Of course, you need to clean the stencil really quickly. So. I'm playing around where I want the heart to go. And I like how the yellow that I put on there and the blue is really going well with this fan flower in this gold. I, th I think it just looks very striking together. I just grabbed my brush pit marker and I'm just edging the heart with it. And I'm sorry this is off camera, but you know what I'm doing. so. That's okay. I'm just making it black just to get rid of some of that white because I don't want that showing. I could have applied that with a makeup sponge as well, but 
I don't have any black paint out. So I'm grabbing the quote from my BU sentiment pack. And that is available for purchase. Just email me at creativekatie dot at gmail dot com. I always forget that. If you're interested in that or any of my other sentiment packs. I think the BU pack has 24 sentiments plus two uh, quote pages where all the quotes are written out in a font and you can print those out and use them as collage sheets. And you'll see all the BU uh, sentiments being utilized in this index card a day challenge as we progress. I'm just playing around with where I want the sentiment to go. And again, I'm always, I'm looking and I want your eye, your eye to flow from the beginning to the end. And if all you're focused on just the words be kind, I like that. And that's why I've made that bolder than everything else. So as always, this part, there's a lot of trial and error and auditioning it. You try it here, you try it there. And that's all really just part of the process. I just love this color combo, this gold and navy with that green and white and black. Oh, I just love it. I'm very happy with it. I think this would look really nice on a canvas. So I'm grabbing the matte gel and I'm going to glue the embellishment down, the heart embellishment, as well as the words. Now, this is on rather thick watercolor paper, and I'm put, gluing it onto something that has now been textured with modeling paste. So I'm applying the matte gel medium fairly thickly because I want it to stay to stick. And I'm holding it down, and you're going to see me putting a little bit more gel medium and pushing it down and put it, adding more and just to make sure that we have contact and that it's going to hold. And this is where if you had um, matte medium that wasn't gel, that it was liquidy, it would have, it's better to have the gel stuff to hold it down if it has some weight to it or your or thickness. And as I'm doing this, I'm looking in the camera and seeing how it looks from afar. Sometimes we need to step back from our project in order to get a more realistic view of, of what's happening. And if you're not videotaping it as I am, just take a picture with your phone and if you have that. And then you can look at and and make a decision. Try it one way, try it the other. Now if you've this is gold modeling paste, and they have three different colors of gold modeling paste at the Crafters Workshop. You can't simply take gold paint and mix it with modeling paste, or, or because it, the modeling paste is white, and then you would lose the shimmer and shine that you want to get with the gold. So I was thrilled when I, I knew, I found out that Crafters Workshop had gold modeling paste. So once that's all glued down and adhered, I grab my fine line bottle and I decide I need a little bit of detailing on this heart. Now maybe it would have been okay if I had used the makeup sponge and gone around it because it would kind of have shaded it, but I found it was missing something. And since it's watercolor, I didn't want to apply any more wet medium and risk activating the watercolor. So that's why I'm choosing to use the acrylic paint in the fine line bottle. And I'm just kind of doing like faux stitching around it. 
And I really think that this, it ties in with the black of the sentiment. And I'm really, I really like the effect that it gives. And to get the dash a little more so it's not like a teardrop, I'm kind of going back and forth, as you can see me doing. You just go slow and you're not, I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure to get the paint to come out. And either the video before this or one after, you're going to see me mixing in one of the next ICAD videos, um, mixing the paint in a fine line bottle. If you need a little bit extra help in figuring out how to get it done right. But it's just heavy bodied Liquitex Basics and water. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, am I done? And I decide that I'm now going to use some gold. And the gold settles, so you need to shake it up a little bit more, make sure that it's really shaken. And I always test it off to the side to make the flow because I don't want it to bloop onto my page. And I decide I'm gonna do gold around the outer edge, but I'm going to keep the faux stitching look. So that's all tied in. And I really like this effect. The fine line bottles are so incredibly useful. If you watch a lot of my videos, you're probably tired of me saying that, but I just really find them incredible. and so very useful in my mixed media art journaling. Most of this video I've kept real time because it was a quick page to do. Albeit I did do the embellishment, the watercolor embellishment the day before when I was playing around. Now just to recap, this, this page is going into my repurposed, upcycled mini happy planner. I have a, had a mini happy planner from last year that I had used and I gel printed on it or put a coat of gesso on the pages and they turn into lovely, um, lovely art journal pages. On here, I'd also outlined around the sentiment. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below.